what uh, happens for me quite often is I, I play a game on a particular console, you know, be it the Wii U or um, PS3, 360, whatever. And then I just enjoy being on that console. I just enjoy the, the control pad, even though this one's worn. Um, actually, all my control pads are in good nick. And I think that's I don't know. I think that's because I didn't use them very much. I was tempted to have a go on this Yarn's Revenge, another one I bought off the store just before it closed, but um, I think Wing Commander Arena's what I was erring towards. It's not a very good game. I haven't got high expectations. All of these, look at these movie games like, or series, but you know what I mean? That, that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a good era for like movies and series. And he is looks a bit Sean Beanie, I think. So don't know if that's from a movie or a series or whatever. Yeah, so um, it should be quite cool, actually. Um, all of these different titles, <laughs> like in darts, you know what I mean? But let's have a look at this Wing Commander Arena. There's no reason why I can't dip back into one I've already looked at. It's just, to be honest, it's, it's what takes my fancy. Um, whilst I'm, in fact, let's, let's just exit that. Yeah, so I'm on the genuine Xbox 360, not a emulated 360, because these games aren't backwards compatible. And as of right now, Microsoft have done pretty well in protecting their IP, I have to say. Um, they, the Xbox isn't moddable with just software alone. You know what I mean? You'd need a quite a difficult hardware mod if, if anybody wants to go down that community, that route. I personally won't, because I won't pay somebody to do that myself but I also think it's a bit too risky to do myself so it's a difficult thing but now I won't go down that route myself um, I'm happy that I've got off the Xbox 360 store every game that I wanna, would want to get off the store if you like I mean it could argue it'd be easier to have digital versions of anything but and if for that generation I'm, I'm happy to have the physical discs now here is the bullshit and the argument about you know if you have a physical disc you physically own it no, not even then, because I've got about 600 optical discs that are machine made, you know, factory made. And I've seen through my fingers in the last 12 months a thousand, and you know, like 300 or 200 have sat in a box over there ready to just go charity shop or car boot or somebody who wants some, you know what I mean? But a couple of hundred, I'd say, were like just mouldy and fucked. And that will happen to this game's collection without a shadow of a doubt. So I can't wait till the, the Xbox is modded, to be fair. Um, because um, I think that's a huge step towards game preservation. I mean, sadly, you know, servers been down and things like that. That's not game preservation, but I mean, the thing is, in a way, the pace of digital change is so quick and almost woo, exponential, if you know what I mean. In, I don't know by what criteria you could say a pace is like linear or exponential or whatever, but the rate of change of how technology changes if you like seems to increase you know the greater the technology the greater it enables other technologies because synergies exist and then other things can be explored and, and we just have this whoosh of a growth but it seems to hit in stages do you not know I mean it, it was like the revolution of agriculture and then fuel and then industrialization and then the digital revolution so what's next but um i think when you're like looking back, even just like 15 years ago at a game, in a way, in a weird way, that's like somebody saying to you, do you want to go out into the street and play a game of whipping top? Do you know what I mean? The fucking Victorian leather whip and, and, a, and, a, and a fucking 
wooden spinning thing and you just whip it and keep it going and all that shit. I think that's how it worked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or marbles or yoga. And you're like, no, fuck no. I mean, it's a novel idea. I get that people played that, but I'm not particularly interested myself, no. And I think that's the trouble with game preservation is, yeah, you are preserving a history of something, um, but not necessarily then with the intent being objective of playing it. And there's so many tens of thousands of playable games out there like loads of them you just can't be bothered and everybody's tastes are different so there's huge vast amounts of games that don't just have universal appeal for being played so you're only you're only really preserving it for the sake of like you would preserve literature or um art because you're giving it prestige credibility i mean this is worthy of like humanity's attention in the future because it's you know a significant part of where humanity was um but uh, do do video games fit that bill we'll find out with wing commander arena <laughs> fucking hell well that's a hell of a way to hype up a game and um fucking just ready ready for failure do you know what i mean I've got to I've got to create some space now, so let's get rid of that. I think that's enough actually. And you see, even even though I stream my games, so that I'm not taking up space, like I do have to sort of take up a bit of space because I've got to keep a copy temporarily on the laptop because of um, Twitch blocking stuff. You know, if there's a music piece in, in the game twitch or mute it it's horrible when that happens and um it still gets fucking clogged up even with just the temporary buffer i've got if you know what i mean uh right wing commander arena let's have a look then um that's, that's probably a good way of of saying going straight into the game you see this is what i do because i'm not i'm this is not the video that's going up to youtube i don't edit youtube videos but i will cut if you like i will trim so i'm going to trim all that waffle and go from here so five you say you do it four three that's too quick for me two oh yeah it's good to end up on the one like that isn't it one wing commander arena welcome and <laughs> details um yeah four modes of gameplay nine maps and the first 16 player action on f wouldn't it again be a goddamn miracle if that was still up on xbox arcade well oh uh, i'm not bothered with the gal gallery because um i'm tired the, the gallery is what we're about to see and i don't want to put you off because I imagine it won't look great. You know. Let's say it. I can't hear shit. Oh, it sounds dreadful, doesn't it? It's not going to sound any better if I turn it up, though, is it? So it looks it looks pretty bad. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest about that. Actually, saying server error is it? And by the looks of it, you can create a situn match. So it's a goddamn miracle. It's still up and going, isn't it? Then? Tachyon gun, javelin HS dart df and knees on blaster right that all makes a lot of sense to me then that's the tachyon gun but i mean surely a tachyon gun will just 
disrupt an energy field. That is correct, Captain. The design of the Class 4 Tachyon Blur is to cause a... <laughs> what, what is it that always happens in Star Trek? It's, it's like a fucking space tear in time, isn't it? Something like that. A space-time distortion. <laughs> the third effect of which may be a space-time distortion. I found myself, this is how geeky I am, I was watching Red Dwarf Series 1, I think it's Episode 2, it may have been, yeah, I've started at the beginning, you see, and um, they see future selves, but I'm just like, well, the Red Dwarf was here and, and then it's over here, like if you're a ship travelling through space at several hundred thousand miles per hour, or, or meters per second or whatever um you would uh, and like a ghost appeared of your future or past self or something that ghost to be in the like it's the same like the earth's orbit if, if if you went back in time but you didn't change your spatial dimensions earth could be the other side right you suffocate it's too risky nah not for me that right anyway sorry uh single player Oh, maybe, maybe, I do, sorry, I probably do need a bit of help and options. Controls, secondary gun, that makes sense, secondary weapon, primary gun, primary weapon, use device, change view, switch device, bomber turrets, oh, don't know what the bomber turrets are, but I think this is essentially a twin stick shooter. The Epsilon Sector 2701. The Terran Corps of Federation and the Kilrathi Assembly of Clans have beaten back the Nephilim hordes, but at a terrible cost. As the shattered governments focus on rebuilding the core worlds, the frontier has descended into lawlessness. Regional governors hold power through force of arms as humans and Kilrathi alike fight amongst themselves using the weapons of the last war. Privateers, outlaws, and worse, take damage, take advantage of the situation, eager to make a quick credit in the galaxy's most volatile arena. Wait, there is, oh fuck, how much more is there? Oh, that's the prologue. Take on the world in team battles, free for all, and one on ones. Look to hone your skills before going up against the universe. Many different types of pickups, uh, some here are they're all colour code and recognisable. And the maps are small colour coded satellites, blue satellites with new energy, and satellites we film missiles and green satellites with air holes. Okay, energy, missiles and holes. Dock with the satellite to employ it. Thrust forward to disengage. When you are blown up in Wing Commander, you are sent to the respawn menu. Depending on the type of game you are playing, you can change teams, race and ship if you like. Some games will have limits on what you can do, especially ranked games. There are 18 ships in Wing Commander Raider, based on six hulls with three variations of each hull. Right, okay. Nine turn, nine. Kilrathi ships. When you begin playing with Commander Arena, you have available to you the Terran base Arrow and Rapier, the Kilrathi base Darkhead and Zralfi. Play with Terran ships for the lot Terran ships and play with Kilrathi ships for the lot Kilrathi ships as in can play on most straight based to practice skill. They also follow challenging game modes with high replayability that will offer you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of entertainment. Defend your satellites from hurting meteors and bandits. Start level 1 as an energy renewal satellite. Keep it intact and use your Use it to renew your energy levels. Every second level you get another satellite. At level 3, an armour repair satellite is brought under your protection. And at level 5, 
A weapon refill satellite, refill missiles, mines, etc. is added. If a satellite is destroyed, you get it back at the beginning of the next level. But you can't more than one satellite replaced per level. Survive. Ever increasing waves of opponents in the specialized arena. It's you versus everyone in this town. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm fucking bored now. Melee. Melee with bots. Malays. See what I did there, pun. I always want to be Terran. I never want to be an alien in these types of games. I don't think there's ever been a game. I'm always like, Gears of War, I have to be human. I don't like being anything other than human in games. <laughs> Even like Avatar pisses me off when <laughs> I mean, I was, oh well, All right, let's go for it. Yeah, I don't like Avatar because of that, basically, because you're essentially a non-human thing. Okay. Took it down. You see that shit. Wait. That's why I was doing so bad. Right thumbstick. I thought I looked at controls. Oh, dickhead. What's going on here? Loop, strafe. Oh, shit. That's weird. Is there no way to change that? Oh, no. It's a fucking navigate through there. Well, this is a bit pants, isn't it? Oh, they're all in there. Oh fuck's sake! How are you supposed to? Every other game in the world is. You know what? I fucking played this before. I bet you. I feel like I've played this before. Just 
just got to get used to. Very, very difficult to get used to your brain rewiring your brain like that. Fuck me. You know what? This rings a bell massively. So. played it before according to this well it might either rings a bell because I've seen it Either I played it as a little test. I can't seem to be. I can't seem to like. Right. All I'm going to do is just get my head around this movement here, rotation. That's why I can't get the afterburners. I think. people are in this match. out of there. Mm. Okay, I felt like a new neuronal pathway connecting them. So I might be able to handle this.
things are chimps, man. Yeah. Pairs engines. Get stuck in here with me, guys. An exit. That's pretty decent. It's, it's a fucker on the thumb, though. I'm going to click. I, there's nothing worse than like clicking the thumbstick and having to move it left and right. It's horrible mechanic in a game. Never have that. In fact, I really would like to change that. I don't think it's possible. Oh, God damn it. And we need that afterburner to get the hell out of there. That's a real shame, that. Oh, it's it's like it's so it's two D obviously, but it's like the regular game of Meteor. Going into a mirror universe. I got uh, my brain in panic mode. Just goes off into regular standard controller type, which the, obviously this isn't. Thank you. 
tell you what, it's a damn shame this thing in, in the middle. This makes it that a little bit more. to coin the phrase of, of one of my favourite reviewers. Although there's a guy on, I think it's like I Dream of Indie or something, it's a, an indie game review. Can't get to him. God, I can't say that, can I? It's not worth a buy because you can't buy it. Just glad I bought it. That's all. I see. You.
parachute in the MySpace station. damage these asteroids could do to the civilian populations of those space stations. Untold damage. And me as well, actually, I've been doing a bit of friendly fun as well. to take that ship out before I got blasted with a whole new load of meteor meteors to be fair. Space stations directly.
This would go on ad infinitum, wouldn't it? Really? I mean, it presumably it just gets harder and harder, but it's. Uh, this could be it, this could be the last level. You never know. about wave 16 a bit higher than that oh, I should have gone to proving grounds first really feel about it is I think even if you even if you've mastered the controls in terms of like the fact that they're the opposite to how most people set up their controls because in a way it's just you know all right spaceships but it's just a twin stick shooter isn't it really have a clone. I understand what the point of the loop is if you don't like to put some
dog fighting in this is just it's just a joke, isn't it, really? Because you're not it's just random. So I'm glad it's over to to be to be brutally honest, but I mean Yeah, it's 
so I, I don't know. I'm gonna play it again. I'm just out of interest. What are the achievements? I've got one. Complete each ring game difficulty. Shut down first pilot. Complete five ships. So it's still about there's a on online game anyway all right well that was a ring wing not ring wing commander ring commander sounds a bit dodgy doesn't it um but wing commander arena um which uh, you know it is an arena shooter really it doesn't matter if you're spaceships or whatever you could just be a sprite couldn't you that's all that matters, really. Um, the handling's not that great, to be honest. Um, even even if you've mastered it, you know, the, you know the left and right thing is different to any FPS I've played. Um, graphics are 360 graphics or worse. You know, they're not nothing special. On the whole, the game's not that great, really, which is a shame. Yeah, probably not going to play it again to be fair. All right, take it easy.